Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our weekly educational webinar. And uh, this week we have a fantastic webinar about a wonderful product. So bear with us. Uh, we're gonna give it another minute or so. When we see more people joining. So thank you so much for your support. And uh, we'll be back in a few seconds. Thank you. This is great. More people, more people are joining. So thank you so much. It's gonna be wonderful. Um, great webinar, great product this month. You're gonna be amazed on the qualities of this wonderful product we'll be talking about. So just give it another minute so that more people can join. So thank you. All right, more people coming. Thank you so much. Every Wednesday night, we are having these educational webinars and more and more people are sending us emails and thanking us for the wonderful uh, and great information we're providing. They're learning a lot. We also are earning a lot. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, another tool for you to get better and, and to learn and, and, of course, promote you know, our products in this case uh, and our wonderful uh, business opportunity as well. So thank you all for joining us. And uh, I guess we're ready to start uh, the, uh, tonight. We have our special guest, Dr. Jimmy Gunman. It's gonna be, uh, he's going to be talking about our wonderful multi-resveratrol uh, product, which is a, an amazing product. And uh, so you're going to hear more about it. And just to remind everyone, we're going to be, recording this call uh, and the call will be available tomorrow uh, before noon time at, uh, at our Immunotech podcast. If you haven't checked it out, please go to your back office and find the link or even in the main in the main page, you can at the bottom of the page, you will see a little icon for the podcast. So just go to immunotech.podbean.com and, and you can listen to this one and any other uh, podcast as well. And uh, tonight, our special host, as always, Meredith Berkic, President, North America and Europe. So, Mer Mer Meredith, take it over. Great. Thank you so much, Alberto. And welcome, Immunitech family, to yet another product education webinar. I look forward to these every month because I actually learn a lot for myself as well. We have the privilege and the honor of, of representing a line of products that changes lives. It changes lives. Not only that, you know, it helps us to really add significance and meaning to our own existence by making the world a better place by sharing. And so the more that we can learn, the more that we can empower ourselves, the more that we can be a product of the product and understand that this is a life where we should be adding meaning to those around us. And what better way than to help people be able to achieve their highest and best to be able to fulfill their full potential when they are healthy, when they are happy, when they have peace of mind and when they are doing well. And so it is my honor and my privilege always uh, to get to partner on these calls. Again, I look forward to, to our conversations because Dr. Jimmy Gutman has been uh, just a profound, you know, uh, a mover and shaker and influencer in the world of Immunitech, but also uh, beyond that, because uh, most of you who have had an opportunity to to look into his past and, and really understand the pedigree of this gentleman, what he brings to the table, and and again, what a privilege it is to be able to be on this journey together. Uh, you know, you see a gentleman who you know for years and years in practice, and, and then there in the emergency room, you just on the on the edge of life and death, and 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 healing and everything that takes place in those critical um, you know circumstances, and then saying, oh my gosh, I. I, he has such a mind, such a keen mind going into research, going into formulation, you know, you know, catching the spark of what is happening here and being inspired by Dr. Bunos and, and coming to Immunitech over 20 years ago and now serving as our senior advisor of science and clinical research. I mean, we, you know, this is a very special situation when we can listen to him once a month, um, you know, help educate us on these breakthrough products of which he is a very large part of the formulation and the R&D of them. So Dr. Gutman, welcome to the call. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. The pleasure is absolutely mine, Meredith. I love doing these, these are great fun. Great, okay, well we, and we have got, uh, you know, a, a really great opportunity today to talk about multivitamins, okay? And you know, this is, this is something that, 
you know, most people that I know, most people on the line tonight, people that they know or today on replay um, are involved in natural medicine. They promote them to their friends, their family, because I think a lot of people feel that these are an essential part of what we do. I mean, the one a day vitamin craze that came out in the 70s, uh, you know, it's really ingrained in us. And I, I think that you would agree, but a lot of doctors um, who still hold the, that position that, that we really don't need multivitamins, that they're actually unnecessary and that we should be able to just get everything that we need from our everyday diet. So I would really like to hear your thoughts shared with this group tonight. Well, you know, I think that the doctors are right some of the time and wrong some other times. It depends. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to start, start right out with that. All right. You always have the interesting points. So what are your thoughts from here then? Tell us what you mean. Well, the, the doctors, they're right when they say that the ideal source of vitamins and minerals uh, should be coming from our food. I mean, I absolutely agree with that. But let's do a reality check. Uh, very few of us get even the minimal amounts of fruits and vegetables uh, into our daily allotment. And this has been shown over and over again. And even for the people that are really trying hard to eat well, uh, even those who are, are vegans, they're just not getting the quantity or the quality of food um, and, and nutrition uh, that they're supposed to. I mean, no, you, you look at what we ate 25 years ago, you look at a, a, a potato 25 years ago, uh, it's just not the same. Soils are depleted, the plants are bred to be large and pretty and durable, and little attention has been paid to their nutritional content. It, it, it's a challenge, both logistically and financially. Uh, to really get a great diet. So really the vast majority of us need to supplement, uh, even if it's just for an insurance policy. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. I know, you know, my summer's on the ranch and we had a two acre vegetable garden. Everything was composted. Everything was natural. And, you know, and running through there in the morning and grabbing food off the vine and picking it and grabbing it and taking a bunch of bites and, and, you know, running through the dirt that was dark and dark brown, really rich. And then now I go into the grocery store. I try to pay attention to what I eat. You know, I try to shop well for my family. I shop organics. But, you know, what I pick up that's been on the truck, what I pick up that's limp and colorless a lot of the times, um, it's, 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 just, it's just not there. You're right. But, but, you know, there are doctors who say you can actually take too many supplements. They say they don't work. You know, we have the most vitamin-rich urine in the universe in the United States, in particular in Canada. So, so what, what do we say about that, you know, that argument? But you need to look at the specific vitamin or minerals in question. You know, I, I hate lumping them all together. For example, there's been reports that too much beta carotene or vitamin A could be problematic in smokers and, and other subpopulations. But if you look at something like the B vitamins, they've got really good tolerance, even at much higher doses. So making general statements about these things, I, I think that's inaccurate. You, you need to get into the nitty gritty and you know what I always say, Meredith? Yes, I do. Research, research, research. <laughs> so, yeah. Dr. G, I think everybody knows. I love it. I think I could all say it by heart by now. Are you ready to talk about Immunitex Multi and with Resveratrol product? Yeah, let's let let's do it. Let's do it. Um, and, and this this uh, Multi Plus Resveratrol. It, it, this is another product that I, I think has been a real sleeper. You know, every nutritional product company offers a multi, but you need to make it clear why Immunitech is, is so different. Now, here's Immunitech's Multi Plus Resveratrol, and you'll see the list of features and benefits, but that in itself doesn't tell the whole story. And the story I'm going to present in the next couple of minutes, it's not going to be the spiel on what each vitamin or mineral does. Uh, you can look that up anywhere, and I, I think that's really kind of boring for a call like this, and you know this stuff. So let me explain. I'm gonna give you an analogy. Now, I know that analogies are not always perfect, but I think they do make a point. Now, look at this picture of this car. This is the most popular car in the world. In fact, it's been the most popular car of all time. Now, keep your eyes glued to the screen here. Here's a picture of another car that sells far fewer units, but is highly respected by all automobile enthusiasts. 
You know, they both have four doors, they both have front wheel drive, they both have headlights and taillights and power windows and a radio and climate control and, and more. But the first one is a Toyota Corolla and the second one is a Mercedes. So let me ask you all a question. Are they the same? Now, of course not. So let me show you these pictures. Here's a top selling vitamin on the, on the right and the Munitex Multi on the left. Are they the same? And how do you tell the difference? Okay, so now you actually have to look at the label. And I know for most people, this can be a bit intimidating. There's some rather dense documents on the stock onto of those bottles. So let me give you a small lesson here. Here's a typical example. Let's just look at one of the vitamins, vitamin A. So you see, there's the ingredient. That part's easy. The problem is when you compare, you compare the ingredients on all multivitamins, they, it pretty much looks the same. Obviously, they're all going to contain vitamin A and B vitamins and C and D and others. But you're not going to be able to easily tell which one is better than the next by just looking at the ingredient. Okay, so now we're getting a little closer to what's relevant. This is where the big variability between supplements exists. There could be huge differences between the different browns, the brands, and that is in the amount. And wait, there's, there's something else up there um, that we need to look at. Um, what's this thing called the uh, daily percentage daily value? Uh, pay attention. The percentage daily value is a term, and this shifts around from year to year and from country to country. This daily value, some people call it the RDA, which stands for recommended daily allowance, and some the RDI, recommended daily intake. Now, what are these numbers and what do they represent? Well, how were these numbers determined was by asking the question, Get this, what is the minimal amount required to avoid a vitamin deficiency disease? That's what it's based on. For example, how much vitamin C is needed to avoid scurvy? Has anybody on this call ever seen a single case of scurvy? Or better still, has anybody seen a case of pellagra? That's a, a niacin or vitamin B3 deficiency. And you could tell by this photo that uh, you really got to dig into some old books to find pictures when this was common. I've, I've never seen a case. So hear me out. The RDA represents the absolute lowest amount of a substance that will avoid illness. It has nothing to do, nothing to do with promoting health. So what we really need to look at, what really needs to be developed are answers to the question, what is the dose that optimizes health? what we can call the ODI, or better still, what is the dose that'll increase your performance, the RDI? This is where research already it started, um, and this is what we need to be concerned with. And I've got a, a, a real problem with conventional medicine defining health as a following. Health is the absence of disease. And this, in my opinion, is not appropriate definition of health. We need to integrate aspects of well-being not just being sick, and I'm sure most of you agree. So I do, not everybody's gonna agree with this slide, size matters, but when it comes to dosing supplements, this is a critical aspect of evaluating the efficacy of a vitamin. Here's the punchline. Uh, we've just developed this new chart showing Immunitex Multi with uh, comparing it with a bunch of leading pharmacy brands and and a bunch of others from network marketing companies. Uh, I understand that this chart's a little bit thick, but um, uh, to show up well on your computer screen, but let me highlight a few things to pay attention to. First of all, pay attention to the colors of the font. Blue represents the highest amount compared to the other products for each individual ingredient. Green represents the second highest amount. So even if your eyesight's not that great, um, it's, it's just looking at the colors, it's, it's so clear that Immunitex multivitamin, it's stacked. It's stacked with mostly first place numbers and the rest of them second place. So when it comes to dose, Immunitech is the easy winner hands down. Now, some of you keeners are going to point out, well, 
what does more mean? Does more necessarily mean better? And, and that's a great question. So let's look even closer. Here's a blow up of Immunitex Multi and the vitamin doses. So you, again, you see we're either number one, uh, uh, occasionally number two in most ingredients. Now notice these numbers are a little bit weird. They seem to be all over the map. That's because what was taken into consideration was the optimal dose, not the RDA. And you'll also notice that some of the numbers are lower and some of the ingredients aren't even there. Why? Now, I intentionally formulated uh, this uh, vitamin A dose um, a, as, uh, as a, a lower dose because, as we mentioned before, too much vitamin A or its precursor, beta carotene, can be a problem for certain populations, for example, smokers. So this is not an accident. Um, this number is at that level um, for a reason. Um, vitamin D. I'm, I'm sorry, the arrows aren't perfectly correct. The vitamin D should be on 100%. Um, the reason um, that I, I left it at 100% because I know a lot of you are going to be taking Immunitex Calcium D from milk. And our calcium product, uh, Calcium D, as the name implies, also contains vitamin D. And it supplies, get this, a full 200% of the RDA itself. So what about vitamin K? Now, vitamin K, it's, does that more mean better? No. no. In fact, uh, the problem with putting vitamin K in a, in a supplement is that um, people who are taking blood thinners like warfarin or coumadin, uh, and even sometimes aspirin, cannot take it. So we left that out entirely. We left vitamin K out entirely, and this was not an oversight. And um, you'll notice Again, that arrow should be pointing at niacin. Sorry about that. Um, this is not an accident. And we came in second place. And why didn't I put a, a higher dose of niacin there uh, is because uh, some people um, are, are suffering from an annoying side effect called a niacin flush. When the niacin is too high, your skin could turn red for a few minutes. It's not dangerous, but it's, it's certainly annoying and, and, and possibly scary. So all of this was really, really well thought out. Now let's get into something that would be nearly impossible to discover just by looking at the label on the bottle. There are so many elements that show up in that big chemistry chart you all remember from high school. Now many of these are quite toxic, but even some of the toxic ones are actually necessary for life, but at extremely low doses. Low doses. Uh, uh, not not high doses, too much can be a real problem, but none of them will lead to, to, and if you don't have any of it, you'll lead to major problems. These are what we call trace elements or micronutrients. Um, it can be really challenging to, to add these microscopic amounts individual into a vitamin pill, but there's an easier solution, and that solution is that um, these trace elements show up in some unique plant life. For example, we use chlorella, a type of algae. And uh, quite something outside of the phytonutrients, it contains all of the trace elements required by man or woman. You see, that's not even going to show up on a list. Let's change gears a little bit. Let's have a toast to, to one other really special thing that we have in our product. Uh, before I introduce it, let's start off by looking at something called the French paradox. What's the French paradox? Well, y'all know that French food is famous across the world, not only for its great taste, but because it's so rich, uh, rich meats loaded with yummy sauce like beef bourguignon, uh, delicacies like pâté de foie gras, which incidentally translates <laughs> to English, paste made from fatty liver. <laughs> In this case, usually duck or goose liver, um, mm, French pastry. And uh, don't forget this fact, uh, having a bottle of French wine usually is part of a Frenchman's main meals. So the paradox, here's the paradox. Why aren't all these French people dropping dead from high cholesterol and heart attacks from the food? I mean, why? I mean, people looked at this and thought about it, and the idea was proposed Maybe it's something in the wine. 
that's protecting them. And the scientific investigation uncovered a molecule naturally appearing in plants, in this case specifically red wine, called resveratrol. This has received a lot of attention, and resveratrol was attributed with having a whole bunch of different benefits, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-aging. Uh, the animal studies are very promising uh, when looking at anti-aging, uh, looking at yeast and invertebrates and insects and fish, even mammals. Of course, uh, this has never been proven in human beings. Just imagine how hard it would be to, to get 90 years of funding. Um, and it, certainly there's going to be problems feeding babies with red wine. I mean, how did they get all that red wine into the mice? Well, of course, red wine wasn't what's used in these studies. Resveratrol was isolated. And here you go. There are multiple bottles of wine resveratrol in every little capsule. Wow. So much more we could talk about, but time is limited. Let me just finish you by asking, which car would you want if you had a choice? They pretty much both look the same. Uh, clearly, you're going to pick the one that's a better quality. And in the case of multivitamins, this is a, an easy, easy choice. Well, thank you, Dr. Hatman. That is, as normal, an extremely great amount of information. You know, everybody that's listening right now, it, it's a lot. It's a lot to digest. One of the reasons why we keep these on replay, so at your convenience, on demand, uh, you can go back and listen to them again and again. There is a lot to learn, and you don't have to be a scientist, you know, you, you know, to, to be, you know, be able to promote these products. What you have to just take away from Dr. Gutman's presentation is the fact is that we don't get enough vitamins in our diet. We cannot get enough vitamins in our diet. And, and we hope that this has, has shifted your paradigm to give you a new perspective on the multivitamin, uh, the necessity of it, not to mention the resveratrol factor in this product, um, you know, because that is really what it's all about here. And we are not getting the vitamins we need. We are, we are deficient by as much as, uh, you know, only, only a, a small percentage of Americans are getting what they should be, a small, uh, you know, maybe higher in Canada because it's a much healthier population. But in the United States, only nine, you know, 94 percent of the people are not getting the vitamins that they need just for maintaining, you know, and not being sick. Not to mention what Dr. Gutman's talking about here with well-being. Are we experiencing well-being? So thank you, Dr. Gutman. Just a few specific questions as we wrap up our time together. But I couldn't help but notice that when, when you were looking at the minerals, um, not the vitamin part, but the mineral part, um, you know, our multi plus is missing, you know, a bunch of things that we might see in some of the other companies that we're competing with. Um, you know, the ones that we have are all winning dosages. But what about the ones that we aren't seeing at all that are missing from the profile? Can't sneak anything by you, Mary. <laughs> Thank you. And what say you, sir? Um, yeah, let's let's start with calcium, phosphorus and magnesium. Um, as an example, when you look at a calcium supplement, there's usually somewhere between 250 and 500 milligrams. This is a large volume, and it would make any vitamin pill way too large to be comfortable swallowing, and you'd or you'd have to take a whole bunch of them. And if you look at the other multivitamin companies, you're not you're just going to really have a f hard time finding any that have the amount of calcium and these other things, even at the RDA, you, 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 can't, you can't get this into a vitamin, a vitamin pill without uh, only having a small dose. So why put it in there at all? I got and, it. Okay. And, and besides, right, I mean, Dr. Gutman, we are, we have over 200% of the calcium RDA uh, in the Immunitech Calcium D from milk. So really the message here is if you need a calcium supplement, you know, if you feel like that's something that you really want to have in your in your daily regimen, I mean, don't expect that a multivitamin can possibly deliver everything that you need. Exactly. Take take the calcium, uh, the, the calcium D. Gotcha. Okay. Well, now let's look at that iron. Let's look at yeah. Iron. Okay. I, I left that out on purpose. Um, iron can be really rough on the stomach, and not everybody requires iron supplementation. Uh, besides. Um, if, if you study free radical biology, there's this aspect that iron, it's not only a heavy metal, but it's a strong source of oxidation and free radicals. So we left it out. 
I can't, yeah, I can't imagine that a lot of people know about that. So, so, so good for us. Good for us. Iodine's another one. Uh, molybdenum, there's another one. And these are, these are micronutrients. These are trace elements. And so they show up in the chlorella. So it, it doesn't show up on your label. This is why just reading a label doesn't tell you the entire source. Get it. Gotcha. Okay. Well, great, great information, Dr. G. Thank you so much. Um, and we are, you know, I'm so happy to see you making this, this chart, you know, kind of going back to that because this is exceptional. And I think that, you know, just internal use, obviously we have all of our network marketing professionals on the line right now. Um, you know, th this is something that we, we should be very, very proud of what we're doing. And, and, you know, some people might say, oh, well, that's, that's not, you know, really polite to like call everybody out. But you, but you know, the reality is, is that it, it you know, politeness isn't going to change the world, right? You've got to be a little bit disruptive. And so, so I think that Dr. Gutman uh, just recently did have a really great stage presentation where, where he kind of unshackled himself on stage. Uh, and it was a fun moment and people are still talking about it because, you know, here, here at Immunitech, we're really, you know, we're here to make a difference. And so, um, you know, Dr. Gutman is working hand in hand with, with us, with Mauricio, obviously, um, you know, to really find ways that we can empower you um, to educate the people in your lives on a one-on-one, -on -one, person to person, belly to belly environment where you can be yourself, but we will empower you with tools that you can use. So Dr. Gutman, thank you so much again for, for joining us. Um, clearly Immunitech plus resveratrol, the winner by a landslide, wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. All right, great. Well, thanks again for joining us and, and team, listen, as, as we're, we're closing out here, thanks again for, for giving us your time. We hope that it added value to your life. Um, but you know, just get familiar, get comfortable with what's what happening here. Um, because you know, our body has needs and we have what it will take to meet those needs. And we have a special going on as we have aligned ourselves with marketing, um, with strategy, R&D, to make sure that when we have these educational webinars, that we make sure that we have a product offering that lines up with us. So as you learn, you become a product expert and a product of the product. Recommend you take these products yourself if you're not already, for heaven's sakes. All right. But to remind you that as a consultant, you know, when you're getting that additional 20 percent off of your price that you are able to purchase now. Um, you know, these three bottles, less than $20 a bottle. So what that means to you is that if you have somebody in your life that you care about, uh, somebody who needs to have optimal performance, you should just pass it. Hey, it's $20, you know? I mean, you, you stop by, you buy somebody a Starbucks and a piece of banana bread, you know, well, thank you very much. It's probably 800 calories and a lot of fat and a lot of, whole lot of nothing. So you didn't help them. If you really care about them, pass on the Starbucks and the banana bread. Give them a bottle of the multi-plus resveratrol from your friends and family at Immunitech. All right, everybody, as a reminder, please note, we have recorded these. Pass them on. Share them with your team. Share them with someone you know, but take advantage of this wealth of information. Change lives around you. Be the change you want to see in the world and live well, but most of all, be happy. Talk to you soon.